Hey everybody, welcome back to another oh, RH Farm Rescue yeah. video. Today we're going to be talking about Mr. Zeus there. Now he was probably the worst case of strangles that we had at the farm. We had three horses we rescued from auction. And you can see this giant lump behind his ear. It, it is a big abscess and we're going to take care of it. Just a quick warning, if you don't like things that are maybe a little bit gross, part of veterinary procedures, I don't recommend you keep watching. Um, we're going to take care of this abscess and that means draining it. It's going to be a giant pocket of infection. It cropped up really big over a couple of days and Zeus had been trying to itch it on his own. Um, the vet came out one day and then we decided to come back another day so she had the proper tools. Um, so we're going to get into it and making him a lot more comfortable when we, once we release all that pressure. How we doing, buddy? Scooped up to pieces. And Zeus was, of course, sedated for this procedure, but it was still super, super uncomfortable. The reason that the abscess is so big is because all that pus has built up underneath the skin. It's creating a lot of pressure, so even though we're trying to relieve it, it's still very uncomfortable for him just to get it started before some of that stuff starts draining out. He needs more, feel free. And oh, look at that. If you aren't familiar with what strangles is, it's a super contagious disease often picked up at auctions or from sick horses. The scientific name is Streptococcus equi and its hallmark symptoms are abscesses where the lymph nodes are, so all along the sides of the face, under the jaw, and then all the way up along the jawbone. This abscess looks like it's on his neck just because it's gotten so big, but it actually starts just along his upper jaw where the lymph node is. And you can see how much more tolerant Zeus gets the more the abscess is relieved to the vets touching and poking and prodding and trying to get all the rest of that goop out, just because I'm sure it feels so much better for him. So Zeus and the other two horses we picked up from auction all had to be quarantined for what ended up being about six weeks um, from the start of yeah, symptoms. They came yesterday. in with a little bit of respiratory disease symptoms, snotty noses, coughing a little bit, but that can be common when we pull from auction, so it was to be expected. However, uh, Zephyr the Gray, she started developing abscesses first underneath her jaw and then almost in the same place as Zeus here, and then Zeus followed. So it was about six weeks, and then we had the vet come back and try to take cultures to test if the bacteria was still present. Um, when they came back negative, we were able to move the horses to another pasture and then come into this one with bleach and water and clean up everything uh, to make sure that everything was disinfected no. properly so that none of the other horses on the farm would catch this. <laughs> yeah, Zephyr never even had any that big, even the one next to her ear.
This is Zeus's healing process after about one week. He's already looking so much better. And then just a couple weeks later, we were able to release him and let him be in the arena, running around, having fun. Uh, it was so great to see him feeling healthy again and having energy after being sick for so long. And then finally, all the horses that had strangles were cleared and we could get back to training them. So we're excited to see how Zeus comes along in his training now that we can work with him. And that's going to be the end of our video for today. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos in the future, and we'll see you in the next one.